Hello friends, this video on chemical kinetics part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now I'll take some numericals. The question says the initial concentration of N2O5 in the following first order reaction. This is the first order reaction where N2O5 gives NO2 and oxygen. Initial concentration was this much moles per liter at 318 Kelvin. The concentration of N2O5 after 60 minutes was found to be this much. We need to find the rate constant at this temperature. Let's see this reaction. We have this N2O5, it broke into NO2 and half oxygen. At T is equal to 0, the concentration of N2O5 was 1.24 into 10 to the power minus 2 moles per liter m at t is equal to 60 minutes 60 minutes the concentration was 0 0.20 into 10 to the power minus 2 m the concentration has decreased we have and the temperature is given 318 kelvin we have to find the rate constant that is k Right. See the equation we know till now is K is nothing but 2.303 by T log of R0 by R. That is what we know. Correct. So let's find this now. Put the value, this becomes 2.303. Time is 60 minutes. 16 minutes. Log of R0. Initial concentration is R0. Final concentration is R. Correct. This gets cancelled. This gets cancelled. This is nothing but this becomes log of 6.2. Right, this is 2.303 by 60 log of 6.2 and the unit will be per minute. You solve this, you get 0 0.0304 per minute. So that means this is my k. Correct? Just simple application of the formulas. Most of the numericals we'll see here, we'll just apply the formulas which we have derived. For first order reaction, this is the formula. Please remember it's a very very critical formula. K is nothing but 2.303 by T log of R0 by R. Where R0 is the initial concentration, R is the final concentration. Now we'll see the same uh, rate reaction for the first order, but in this case we have the gas phase. And since it will be gas phase, uh, we'll use pressure. And one equation and let me derive for you. Let's suppose A plus B will give you C. And everything is or A is equal to B plus C. A gives B plus C. All are in gas. So at T is equal to 0, let's suppose this was uh, P1 atmosphere and these two were 0. At t is equal to sometime t, this becomes p1 minus x, this becomes x, this becomes x. So p total here becomes what? p1 minus x plus x plus x, right? p1 minus x plus x plus x. And that is nothing but p1 plus x. Here p total is what? p1 plus 0 plus 0. And that is p1. So if you see the total pressure has increased from p1 to p1 plus x for this reaction. Same formula will apply. We have seen K is nothing but 2.303 by T log of R0 by R. Correct? That's what we have seen. In this case, you see R0 is initial concentration of A. There is nothing but pressure P1. R is the final concentration of this. That is P1 minus X. The only trick we will be doing here is instead of X, we know that x we can write in terms of p total, right? So, with this equation, if you see, let, let this be p dash total. 
or P not good. Initial pressure. So if this is P1 plus X is P total, the final final total pressure. So X is nothing but P total final minus P1. With this I can say this is P1 minus X, right? So I can say this is nothing but log of P1 by instead of P1 minus X, I can say P1 minus this value. P total minus P. Cut. So with this I get 2.303 by T log of P1 by 2P1 minus P. Correct. Please don't, this is not any formula which we are deriving. This is just concept I am trying to explain. Don't use this formula for any gas equation. For any gas equation, if you see, you have to derive this. It may be it has stoichiometric coefficient of 2 or 3 in that case it will change this is just a concept the concept we are trying to drive here is we are still using the same formula here right which we have seen for first order equation to find the value of k but instead of in initial concentration in moles per liter we are using in pressure and instead of using p1 minus x x is something which we will derive and this will vary based on the equation. If it has some stoichiometric coefficients, this equation will vary. So x we will derive and we'll try to find the value of x in terms of total final pressure. Because in generally in questions, they'll be giving us total final pressure and we'll get this kind of equations. So let's see one numerical on the concept we just explained. The following data were obtained during the first order thermal decomposition of N2O5 at the constant volume. And uh, we have to find the rate constant. If you see, the total pressure is given. So if you see at T is equal to 0, total pressure was 0.5 by T and total pressure will be because of N2O5 only because this was 0. So this was 0.5 ATM. At T is equal to 100, this will be in seconds. Please note, take care of units, they are very critical. This will be, let's suppose, 0.5 minus 2x because there are two stoichiometric coefficient of 2. If 2x moles of N2O5 is used, then 2x moles of N2O4 will be uh, created and x moles of oxygen will be created. Correct? This is 2, this is 2, and this is 1. So this is 2x, this is 2x, this is x. So, at T is equal to 100, pressure total is given to us. And that is nothing but 0.5 minus 2x plus pressure due to N2O4, that is 2x plus pressure due to oxygen. If you solve this, this is nothing but 0.5 plus x, and that value is given 0.512. With this, if you find the value of x, is nothing but 0 0.012. Correct? Now we do the same formula, k is nothing but 2.303 by T log of initial concentration of N2O5, that is nothing but P0 of N2O5, that is nothing but initial concentration of N2O5. And then final concentration of N2O5 is nothing but pressure of N2O5, correct, this is initial and this is final. Generally we use R0 by R, here I am using P0 by P. Just to be more explicit, right? This is nothing but at t is equal to zero, and this is nothing but at t is equal to my hundred seconds. Let's put the values here. This become two point three zero by three by t is hundred seconds. Log of p naught of n two o five e s c is nothing but 0.5 atm, and this is nothing but 0.5 minus two x, and x is nothing but 0.012 that is 0.5 minus 2 into x. x is nothing but 0 0.012. This much? 80. 80 will take cats. Correct? This becomes uh, 0.476. So 0.5 by 0.476 log and this value. If you actually solve it, this comes out to be 4.98 into 10 to the power minus 4 per second. And that is the value of my rate constant for this equation.
correct the same concept here so we have this you yeah, have used this x and then since total pressure was given please note here total pressure is given if in the equation they give the pressure of n2 by u itself then it is very easy but generally when you are having uh, the reaction is taking place it is difficult to find a partial pressure it's very easy to find the total pressure of the whole uh, container where the reaction is taking place so generally the data is in terms of total pressure The question says a reaction is first order in A, second order in B. That means a rate is nothing but K, first order in A, A to the power 1, second order in B, that is B to the power T. The question is first find differential rate equation. So what we wrote is just a rate equation. We will write differential rate equation. So instead of rate, I will write minus of dr by dt minus of dr by dt and that is nothing but the same value k a to the power 1 b to the power 2 that is my differential rate equation correct the next question is how is rate affected on increasing the concentration of b by 3 times so let's suppose uh, initial concentration of b was x and i made it x so let's see this directly i can say if you make it 3x and this is x square right so it will become 3x to the power 2 that is 9x square that means it becomes 9 times just by looking at the equation i can tell that i have to solve it so let me solve this now for you so when the concentration is x my rate i'll just use this normal thing rate r1 is nothing but k concentration of a is a and b is x x square rate 2 second case is nothing but k a concentration is same and b becomes 3x square it is nothing but 9 into k a square x square and this this value whole thing is nothing but rate 1 correct this value this becomes 9 into rate 1. So if you see rate 2 is nothing but 9 times rate 1. That means the reaction has become 9 times. Now the next question is how is the rate affected when the concentration of both A and B are doubled? So let's do the same thing. Let's suppose the rate 1 is uh, rate 1 is K. Concentration of A let's suppose becomes Y to 2Y and B Z to 2Z. Let's do this. So initial rate will be A is Y, so Y to the power 1, Y to the power 1 and X uh, concentration of B we took Z, Z to the power 2. The final rate 2, sorry rate 3, make it, or rate 1 day rate 2 we took, so let's take rate uh, 3 and rate 4. right just to avoid confusion this k y becomes 2y and z becomes 2z so solve this, this is nothing but 2 into this is 4 2 into 4 is 8 8 into k into y into z square and this whole thing is nothing but if you see rate 3 so if you see from this rate 4 is nothing but 8 times rate 3 that means the reaction has become 8 times pretty easy you can just assume the initial concentration of uh, the reactant which is going to be changed is x and the final concentration to be 3x 4x 5x depending on uh, the question it is if it, the concentration has become 3 times or 4 times and then you can find the value of rate in both the cases and then you can actually compare them you can actually tell whether the rate has become 8 times, 6 times or 7 times. Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.